Get them to see where we live and enjoy it and stay a while. Come early, stay late. I think it's big. It's the biggest draw for Coleman County of the year. Rock the South bringing in country music fans from all across the country. Now the gates opened several hours ago and the music is played. This is the 10th year for Rock the South, an ABC 3340 sponsored event. And Valerie Bell is there now. And Valerie, what's it like out there on this Friday? You know, Stephen, it's hot, but we couldn't ask for better weather out here. You can see music just took to the stage here a couple hours ago, and the crowd is starting to form. You can just take a look at how many people are here right now, and the event founders tell me that this crowd is only expected to grow as the night goes on. And the great thing about this is it started as a fundraiser, and even 10 years later, it's still all about giving back. It's about, it's about recognizing local heroes, people helping people. This festival is based on that idea. Rock the South started after the 2011 tornadoes and since nearly a million dollars has been given to charity. Since 2011, the foundation of Rock the South was about coming together, the spirit of unity and everyone just pulling through, pushing through those hardships and really donating, making something for, you know, here in Coleman, Alabama. As attendees lined up to get in, you could hear the excitement. Yeah! We spoke with people here from California, Texas, Kansas, and Georgia. Knowing that we're giving back to a community somewhere is really good. Well, I, I was living here when I started it, and I thought it was pretty cool, but I didn't go to it until it was like its fourth year. It's really exciting because all the scenery is different from Georgia. I'm just excited to see music. I love music. Oh, I love the small town like vibe because I live in a big city, so like I love to see the smaller towns, and it's more friendly. I'm excited just to have a good time and like enjoy the good music. And people coming to Rock the South can expect to see two new things this year. The first thing is you'll notice that the stage is bigger. And then also, as we know, in Alabama, it is hot. You can also expect to see some shaded areas like this one right here. I would say this. It's no different than going to an Alabama and Auburn game. Uh, you know, they'll be kicking the footballs in the next two or three weeks. The same thing. It's hot there. Be smart. Drink plenty of water. Have, make sure to have a designated driver. One of the founders, Shane Quick, says this year is going to be the biggest year yet, with record high ticket sales and an estimated $15 million tax impact in just this county alone. A lot of hard work, incredible hard work from a lot of great people come together to make this thing happen. Uh, city, county, state, uh, people coming from all over the country, uh, and some of the biggest bands you know in, in the history of country music here. Now, I spoke with a lot of people out here, and obviously they are excited about the country music lineup. Alabama is playing tonight, and Morgan Wallen is set to take the stage here tomorrow. Live in Coleman, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.